This is your GMP Minute by Kevin Wall. We will discuss the three biggest mistakes when conducting CAPA effectiveness checks. Number one, not ensuring the effectiveness check is specific to the root causes. Each root cause should have its own effectiveness check, otherwise you cannot document the problem has been solved. The effectiveness check should be tailored to ensuring each specific failure mode does not recur. That means if there are five root causes, the effectiveness check will ensure each has been resolved. Number two, not defining measurable acceptance criteria. It is not acceptable to have generic acceptance criteria such as no more complaints. That criterion does not ensure the failure mode does not occur. It uses the customer as the quality control mechanism. It assumes the customer will complain each time. Good effectiveness checks have defined criteria much like a validation acceptance criterion. For example, we once shipped a product with the wrong country label. The root cause was tied to a line clearance of a specific bin below the packaging line. The effectiveness check was twofold. We ensured the new line clearance form was being completed and second signed appropriately. Zero failures were tolerated. Secondly, we defined a number of independent QA random inspections of the line to ensure compliance. Number three, not having significant time for the failure to manifest itself. I am not a proponent of standard timeframes. If the root cause is manufacturing process related, determine the number of lots and batches that ships run in a given time frame. If the process is 24-7, the two weeks may be enough. If the processes run intermittently, then six months or more may be appropriate. Try to get a statistically meaningful number of iterations. You need to document the rationale for why the time frame was chosen. In the above example, the problem could occur on three packaging lines run on three shifts. The effectiveness check covered each of the three lines and three shifts. We wanted to ensure new habits were formed before the effectiveness check was started. Line leads and shift supervisors ran the new process for two weeks. We did not rely on simply training a new procedure. In that case, the effectiveness check ensured each shift could adequately execute the new process 20 times without failure. That provided a total of 180 shifts with the new process and confidence the problem was solved. A good CAPA effectiveness check appropriately defined and executed will help ensure the problem is solved and will lead to smoother regulatory inspections. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a GMP Minute.